try me, you know you will get dealt. I know that I'm the best, that's why I'm feeling myself. Competition, I be giving up hell. I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah. Close the coffin and just put in a nail. And if you're up against me, then you're gonna need help. You can run and hide, but who you gon' tell? I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah. What's happening, YouTube? AI, the Mutt Mechanic, coming back to you live, bringing to you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And in this video, we're going to do another card review today. Let's see, what card are we going to review? We're going to review one of the new new um, Super Bowl edition cards, elite cards. Let's take a look at uh, left linebacker James Harrison. When he was in his prime as one of my favorite linebackers as far as his no nonsense approach. And then he was a stealer. I, you know, I like team I like physical teams that come out and play hard. Is he a left linebacker? I'm pretty sure he's a left linebacker. Yeah, there you go. James Harrison. 98 overall, James Harrison. Let's um increase that qual quality real quick. Whew. He's going for about what's that, 325? Let's look at one of these prices that we know is not going to sell. Let's 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 do a quick review and see if he's worth the coins. So I guess yeah, this this could be another rendition of is he worth it? So let's check him out. 98 uh, dual chemistry, man defense, and run stuff in defense. Let's check those stats out real quick. Uh, his height is six foot. Generally, I, I like my linebackers, especially if he plays an outside linebacker, to be about six six two to six. 6'2 and, and, and greater, but uh, I mean, he's six foot, so I guess that could work. Let's check him out. All right, strength of 93, which is really good, although I think um, I think Terrell Suggs has the highest strength value, like a 96, or I think, I think like a 95, 96. Agility, 82 for outside linebacker, especially if you're playing in a 3 4, I would generally like an 85 to 86. Um, agility, in case I want to use him, but uh, 82 is okay. 89 speed, which is which is not bad for linebackers in this game. I think that's that puts him in the top echelon of linebackers. 95, you know, the speed coupled with the strength. That 95 acceleration, that's pretty good. Come off that edge, and it'll definitely help him with that strength. And we'll check out what his power moves are later later on down the card. Awareness is 91, that's pretty good. Catching is a 75, that's also good as well. Um, if he feels a little bit taller, you know, that, that would definitely help. For him to jump and get those um, interceptions, especially if he's in the zone. Tackles 96. He's definitely not going to miss a tackle once he grabs whoever the the, the um, person with the, the ball carry is. Jump 85. That's not too bad. But for six foot, you at least like to have him around 93, 94. Um, we don't really care for the offensive stats. Uh, power move. Now this is this is excellent. 93. Strength with the 99 power moves and the 95 acceleration and at high speed will allow him to get off the line really quick and block shed damn near all the tackles in the game or whoever they got out there blocking, especially if he's a if he's a lowly tight end trying to block Marvin Harrison. Uh, don't do that. Um, uh, his finesse move is uh, 76, which isn't bad. Block shed 93, uh, probably one of the, the the highest block sheds next to. Um, Next to, what's his name? T Sizzle, Terrell Suggs. Pursuit, he, he's gonna go, he's gonna take the best pursuit angles, especially while blitzing, 96, I like that. Definitely will contain the quarterback. 95 play recognition, now this is huge people. 95 play recognition means he won't be swayed by, um, he won't be swayed by play action. He'll always cover his zone. And look at that, 80 zone coverage, that's, aw that's awesome. Uh, for a linebacker, especially a left linebacker. It's just his height, though. If he was a little bit taller, like 6'2", um, this would be a beast card. Injury doesn't get hurt. Stamina is high. That means he can stay on the field when your opponent is trying to run a lot of hurry up. Spec catch and catching traffic, not that great. So you definitely don't want him mad in the middle of the field. But look at that hit power, though. That's what you want to see. That 99 hit power. So I definitely wouldn't mind having him for a nice, if you run a 3-4 scheme, 
this car best suits a three four scheme not a not a four three because you want tall you want, you really want tall people kind of man in the middle in the uh, four three but if if you want to run the three four you like the blitz a lot this card is an excellent card to have but i just can't i really can't pick this card well number one the price is too high i would never pay 325 for marvin harrison i know he's a 98 and i know his play record is so high i would if he went down to about 225 250 i would definitely say buy him uh but as of right now it's not worth it especially when they have a little uh, they have other linebackers in the game for way cheaper i, I still like the terrell the uh, t sizzle terrell Suggs. um you know that's my personal preference if i was to get a left linebacker matter of fact let's check him out real quick was that peppers Everybody know I have peppers. Uh, let's check out uh, T Sizzle real quick and see what he's going for. Uh, Ravens, right? Yep. So look at T Sizzle is about 100k, 109k. Left linebacker, speed 89, just like Marvin Harrison. Strength, whoa, I was incorrect. He has a 94 strength. Play rate 93. Tackle 96, just like James Harrison. 94. Block shed, same stat. Zone coverage. Nowhere near, but he is 6'3". That's three inch height advantage. Um, 92 awareness, he's up there. His catching is, is uh, deplorable, which I, I would definitely go with, with James Harrison with the catching. Where's his jump? Jumping 85, same as uh, James Harrison, but he's 6'3". Six, he's six so, like I said, dang near, they're the same card. You know, looking at them, they're the same card to me. So, you know, except with the, with the exception of the power, the hit power, I would definitely put James Harrison. But if you had, if you, I wouldn't buy him at that much. Like I said, I buy him at about two twenty two fifty, And uh, like, I definitely could see something else just sold. I definitely could see him um, in fitting the 3-4 scheme for sure. So that's my evaluation for the card. I would definitely pick him up, but if I were you, I would wait till he drops a little bit. Wait till the wait till the weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday, well, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday evening. Get him for about 270, 250. If you really run that 3-4 scheme and you want another outside linebacker that can really blitz and get after the quarterback and also is good in his own coverage, I would definitely pick up that Marvin Harrison. So that's it, people. I appreciate you guys for listening and watching and, and I appreciate all the new subscribers that are subscribed to the channel. I want to extend a warm welcome. I have a lot in store for you guys. I am going to be putting up a lot more uh, head to head matches. I just haven't had a chance to really edit them like I want to, but uh, those vids are coming. So I appreciate you guys for listening and watching for this video and I hope it helps in your decision if you want to get Marvin Harrison or not, not Marvin Harrison, James Harrison. Why do you want to say Marvin Harrison? <laughs> All right, that's been my time, AI the Month Mechanic, 131, and I'm out, people. Peace.